Hi and welcome to episode 14 of season 6 of A Brief History of Nothing on the 4th of December 2017. And what in fact happened on this day? Well, in 771 the big news was Carloman dies leaving his brother Charlemagne to rule over the Frankish Empire. Yes. That was big news in 771. That was it, huge news in 771. Yes, in, in, in later news, in 1791... Yes. Um, the first Sunday newspaper, The Observer, was published in England. Yeah, um, called The Observer. Yes, what you just said. Oh, you did say The Observer. Brain not working. Yes, in yes. England land. Yes. In England land, yes. And in still later news, in 1881, yeah. what happened? Well, this little thing called the LA Times started... You might have heard of it. Um, it was first published on this day in 1881. I think some people in Los Angeles have heard, has heard of it. Probably, being as it's called the Los Angeles Times. Times. Yes, there you go. There you okay. go. Okay, in 1954, in still even later news, mm. the first Burger King opens in Miami, Florida. Yes, in, in Australia we know that as Hungry Jack's. Yes. So yes. if you're in Australia and you want some Burger King, go to Hungry Jack's. Same thing, just called something different. Yes, because, you know, you can't have Burger King. Well, Burger, there was already something called Burger King in Australia at the time. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Which and... suddenly went under. <laughs> but we <laughs> stayed with Hungry Jacks. Of yes. Course. In 1965, Gemini 7 launched with Frank Borman and Jim Lovell on board. Um, I'm assuming they came back too. They did. They didn't go to the moon, of course, but they they did. They not did. in a Gemini, no. No, no, not not in, not in a, an old Holden hatchback. No, no, not in an Isuzu hatchback. No, um, no, they they did it in a small, very cramped spacecraft. Oh, okay. So something similar, really. Hmm. <laughs> it's a small Isuzu <laughs> hatchback. Mm. Yes. Yeah, but apply it's rockets to a small car from the seventies and tell me how that goes for you. <laughs> Also, yes. well, no, and and the whole rocket guy with the attaching the 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 um, jet engines to the car didn't actually happen. That <laughs> never happened. No, yeah. no, no, no. Sorry, it's, a, it's not an urban myth, is it? It is. You myth know what? A, but you and, know what a myth is, don't you? It's, it's a, a female, female moth. moth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, right. Yes. Today is a little different. Yes. He cooked something, I and cooked we didn't something. all die of food poisoning, which is that, that amazing, excellent. right? Yeah, yes. Well, I see, I had a dish that was born from necessity. Uh, one day I felt like something to eat and looked in the fridge and cupboard to come up with what I had, and what I had was some beef, some uh, two-minute noodles, mm. Um a bit of soy sauce, um, some um, garlic and ginger, and a part of a packet of stir-fry frozen vegetables. So, out of necessity, I put that together to make a beef stir-fry and realised that if you use two-minute noodles and you get yourself organised, you can actually do this meal in ten minutes. Um, being as it takes that long to actually cook the beef through so you can eat it. So I decided that um, we normally have a and d day on a Sunday and so everybody in the group, I cooked in 10 minutes my beef and my beef stir fry and noodles. And so if you want a nutritious meal and you're too tired after you come home from work and you really don't feel like doing a whole lot, you can do this. Um, yes, and for us plant murderers, um, you can throw instead of the beef just tofu or mushrooms in, and it works perfectly adequately. Yes, so here's the video. Segways are hard. Right, today on the show, I thought I would, being as I'm a, uh, a single, and I really don't like stuffing about cooking things after I've been to work, so today I thought what we'd do, something a bit different, I'd give you my version of a. Um, a beef stir fry and noodles, but it's like 10 minutes from go to woe, so you don't have to do a lot of stuffing around. All right, we're ready to go. We'll start cooking. Okay, so I've we'll got some beef, diced beef. We'll chuck that in the pan with some oil. Okay, give me a 
a bowl for the noodles. Right, walk in front of the camera. My lovely assistant. Hi. You can see my periodic table. Woohoo! Okay, now I need a teaspoon. Teaspoon. I hope you people like garlic. Das ink. Das ink. Okay, so we put some garlic, some mushrooms, some ginger, a bit of lemongrass, some soy sauce, and the beef on. We're going to brown the beef. My lovely assistant will pass me my veggie knife. That's a knife. I'm just going to cut up some shallots if you're not in Australia or it's spring. Oh, now, once we've been cooking for about five minutes, I'll get my lovely assistant to put some beef noodles in the microwave. You can do that to me, you don't really need an assistant. You can just do it yourself, but you know, hey, I'm a camera roll. What do you say? Right. Yes. Right, uh, three packets will be the business, I think, in our lovely expensive container. Yes, yeah, yeah, our, our, our fine plastic ware. Okay. I think it might need a little bit more mushroom. A bit more of the mushrooms. A bit more in the shrooms department. A bit more in the shrooms department. You've got a shroom. Have the yeah. So, audience, how is it smelling in there? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, great. Smells good. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I didn't have to pay them very much at all. It was. There we go. How many flavour packages? Put the one flavour packet in and the whole thing? No, no, all three. All three flavour packets? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, a bit more. Right, so everything's cooking. I'll just give you a quick view of the meal. There we go. Right, all hunking and dorying well. We're about to put in the um, stir fry veggies very shortly because we only need them in for a few minutes, they just not need, need to be not cold. We are about to noodleize with my beautiful assistant. Me, I'm as ugly as a hat full of bow holes. <laughs> You're getting a great view of my back right now, aren't you? Well, your elbow. Yes, we just, yeah. yeah, we've got a great view of your elbow. Woohoo! Woohoo! Right, now we'll get the stir fry veggies out. So, all the water molecules in the bowl will do the cha cha. Okay. Now 
going to chuck in some stir fry veggies. These ones. gone in and now it's a case of waiting. The thing is to cook. Excuse me while I do my fading stance. Isn't that exciting? Mm. We'll probably we'll probably put a time lapse if you're doing this. <laughs> taxi driver so we can't show his face on, on camera. Even though we've already shown the face on camera. Don't confuse the words. Okay. This man's a dentist or a doctor. We can't show his face on camera. Mm. Easy. You got 
one one dish, one dish to stick in the microwave, one um, in the microwave, yes, so you into the dishwasher afterwards, you've got one pot, a knife, a spoon, so it doesn't make a lot of mess. It's, it's quick, it's easy, it's painless, and it's filling. What else can you want? So it's a little different for a show for us. Cooking. Mm. But we are called the brief history of nothing and we cover everything. everything. Yes, so And the house hasn't burned down. Mm. Which is always a plus. Yes. Hi oh, by the way. That's the magic hand of my beautiful assistant. And we had the magic elbow and the magic here at the table t-shirt. Um, oh. Well, yes. Well, I'm actually wearing a Pearl Harbor t-shirt. Mm -hmm. so a friend of mine, he went to Hawaii and went to um, the memorial, picked up for me. And uh, very impressed, actually, for a, for a t-shirt that um, extremely good quality t-shirt that they printed the, uh, the uh, thing on. So, uh, yes, for those who are responsible for ordering t-shirts for the Pearl Harbor Memorial there, you're doing an excellent job. Alright. It is what it is. Okay. Beautiful assistant. I think he needs his eyes checked. He keeps thinking I'm beautiful. It's not. He's I'm, uh, I'm ugly. enough to feed several people, like a family of people, so, you know, it's uh, not your single serve, that's why we've probably gone a little over the 10 minutes. Okay, that's pretty much mixed through. So, that's the meal. So that's from go to way roughly 10 minutes. Okay, have fun, I'm going to eat now. And we're back, and still not died of food poisoning. So, yes. he, he's actually a half decent cook. Don't tell everybody. Yeah, so that was a serving of six in 10 minutes. And you won't believe how cheap it is. You can, you can, well, the beef was less than $10, mm. um, so you can imagine everything else there. I mean, two-minute noodles are like, what, a dollar a pack or something? Yeah, like $2 for a pack of five or something. So for less than $20, I fed six people. Yeah. Um, well, that's essentially... In, ten, I, in I, 10 minutes from start to go. Oh, so like, it's amazing how many, how many dishes that we think of now came out of necessity, like pizza... Well, we have, have, we have stale bread, we have leftover cheese and vegetables. What are we going to do? Oh, why don't we put cheese and the vegetables on the stale bread and throw it in the oven? Yeah, basically ah! toast. We'll make, we've got a flat loaf, we'll make it toast, but hey, we'll put some topping on it first. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Pizza. Ta-da! Ta-da! Their tar has never been so dark. And, and well, so like in kebabs, well, before they, they thought of, wait, why don't we put, actually put yeast in bread and make it rise? Yes. They went, why don't we put some stuff in the in the flatbread and we wrap up the flatbread and oh, <laughs> there yes. you go, hey presto. Yes, well, 
They well, yeah, it, it, it's basically a rolled up sandwich, essentially. So yes, they made the sandwich before the sandwich was called the sandwich. Yeah, well, this is the thing, is that apparently the Earl of Sandwich made the sandwich. Yes, because he didn't want to leave the gambling table. He didn't want to leave, he, wanted, he was hungry, but didn't want to leave the table or, or have to clear the table of what they were doing yeah. in order to um, in order to eat. Um, but the idea of putting two things between two pieces of bread, I think, probably predates him. He just made it famous and named it. <laughs> and named it. So that's why it's called a sandwich, because of the Earl of Sandwich. sandwich. All right, now... Let's have some celebrity birthdays. Celebrity birthdays. Well, in 1840, um, Crazy Horse, um, if you're into westerns and, and so forth, and in American history, you may have heard of him. The American um, indigenous... American le- leader? Yeah. Yes. Chief? Yes. Crazy Horse. And now, 1913, Robert Alder. You may not have heard the name, but you've probably used what he invented. The TV remote. The television remote. Yes, the, the, the infrared television remote, as opposed to the corded television remote, or the... Or the one they tried, which used um, hypersonic chimes in, like a little hammer and chimes in, inside the remote. And funnily enough, that's if you had a cat or a dog, they didn't like the sound of it, funnily enough. Who would have thought that? Mm. Hey, 1948, um, Jeff Bridges, uh, actor... Fabulous Baker Boys, The Big Lebowski. He was the main bad guy in the original Iron Man movie. Um, yes. Think of something, he's been in it. Um, True Grit, the remake of True Grit. Mm. And in 1969, um, you've probably not heard of Sean Carter either. You've probably heard of his stage in their own Jay Z. Um, yes, rapper, well known. Yes, yes. We, we, we don't do rap, so. Yeah. Now. Um, 1970, Kevin Sussman. Sussman, yes, he's been in AI. He's been also re- features regularly in The Big Bang Theory, and he, again, he's sort of he's one of those. Oh, what's that? He's been in that one, and I can't remember the face, but he's one of those guys. All oh, right, okay. Mm-hmm. So that's us for another episode. If you like us, hit like. If you don't like us, inflict us on all your Facebook friends. Subscribe. We and do subscribe. love subscribers. It's down there. Just press that subscribe button. Then hopefully it won't sound... Because we, we, we lashed yes, out in the we, mic. We've got a new microphone, so we look Ooh. professional. Yeah, we, we're going to keep up that del- that illusion for a while, but it's this this is done in a spare bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is. we spare no expense for this show. Literally. We spare no expense. Because there's no expense to, <laughs> to be, be spared. spared. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See you on the dark side. He I ate, ate all the cookies. He did. He ate the cookies. Bye. Bye.